Who is Meshko I? In the 10th century the lands of the Western Slavs were in complete tribal fragmentation. There was no unified authority and Christianity still could not get to the wild Polish lands as well as the lands of the Eastern Slavs in Rus. The first authentic ruler of the Polish state who united the Polish lands and christened Poland is Prince Meshko I. In this video I would like to tell about his achievements and the initial stages of the formation of Poland as a medieval state. If you are interested in the history of Poland, don't forget to like it and pour yourself a strong cup of tea before watching it. Meshko I was born about 935 and was the son of the semi-legendary Prince Zemimysl, the ruler of the Western Poles. According to the hypothesis, the Meshko dynasty came from Great Moravia, the very first Slavic state. It is not known what was until then, but about 960 at the age of 25. Meszko became the prince of a small Polish principality of Great Poland with the center in the city of Nizno and began to rule over the tribes of Polans and Goplands. The new ruler immediately faced the task of uniting a fairly vast, ethnically and culturally diverse territory. Despite the fact that the inhabitants of the areas controlled by Meszko spoke for the most part the same language, shared the same beliefs and reached the same level of economic and civilizational development, the main form of social relations between them was tribal structures. New reforms were needed to create a feudal state. The nobles who collaborated with the prince were the first who feel the need for super-tribal unity. They wanted to unite the state because of the possibility of expanding their influence under the king's rule as well. Therefore Meshko could rely on them in his reign. At the very beginning of his reign he succeeded in tying together the territories of Kwiawia, Masovia, and the eastern Pomerania by force. To the beginning of his reign also belongs the first mention of the Polish state in the European chronicles. To the west of the Kingdom of Poland was the East Frankish Kingdom, or as it was already called by that time, the Germanic Kingdom. In a few years it would become the Holy Roman Empire. In what follows I will refer to it as the latter two variants. One of the feudal lords of the German Emperor was Jero I the Iron, Margrave of the East Saxon March. In 963 Jero conquered the territories occupied by the Polavian, Lysatian and Slupian tribes, and as a result entered into a border conflict with the Polish state. At the same time, Meszko began his campaign against the Ludic and Volhynian tribes, and then against the Valais tribe, which were part of the Lysatian tribe. Since they had already been conquered by the Germans, they were ruled by the Saxon nobleman Wickman the Younger. Because of two battles between the armies of Wickman and Meshko, Wickman twice defeated the army of Meshko, and about 963 Meshko's brother, whose name was Leszek, was killed in the battle. The young duchy of Poland was in danger, because the borders at the mouth of the river Oder were also coveted by the German margraves. In addition, Bohemia to the south, which at that time possessed Silesia and Lesser Poland, could also encroach on the lands of the Poles. Meszko did not dare to go to war with the subjects of Holy Roman Emperor Otto I and during negotiations agreed to pay him tribute as well as conclude an alliance. At the same time begins Polish-Bohemian rapprochement and in 965 Meszko married Bohemian Princess Dobrava, settling relations with the Bohemian Prince Bolesław I the Terrible. Everything was going quite well. A little later, in an effort to gain allies in the Saxon region of Germany, the ruler of Poland decided to be Christianized. In 966, under the influence of the Empire in Bohemia, Meszko converted to Christianity under the Catholic Rite, which was an important prerequisite for the inclusion of the Polish Principality into the cultural and political community of Catholic Europe and the Latin language, which is still firmly in the minds of modern Poles. But at that time Christianization was primarily political, and Meszko's restraint in diplomacy testifies to his foresight and rationality. It allowed him to solve problems with the Germans and the Bohemians in a short time. And also to get allies for the conquest of the Valicia and Western Pomerania in 967. 
but still in five years the strengthening of the Polish state provoked its conflict with the neighboring German principalities within the empire. In 972 the armies of Odo, Count of the Eastern March, invaded Poland. Without the Emperor's permission he crossed the Oder River and the Germans approached Sedan, a strategically important fortress that closed the road from the limits of the Empire to central Pomerania. But Meshko was ready for the German invasion this time, and by ambushing the enemy were defeated in the Battle of Sedinia. Count Odo and a lucky few managed to escape after all. Soon the Emperor heard what had happened, and in 973 Meshko I was summoned to the Imperial Reichstag in Quedlinburg, where he was found guilty and forced to agree to pay tribute to the Emperor for Western Pomerania and to give his son Bolslaus as a hostage. Count Odo did not suffer any punishment, for which Meshko I held a grudge against the Emperor. Soon the Emperor died. After the death of Emperor Otto I in 973, Meshko together with the Bohemian Prince Bolslaus II did not support the rightful heir of Emperor Otto II, and tried to help another pretender to the German throne, Henry II, Duke of Bavaria for more favorable terms of cooperation with the German power. But the idea failed and Otto II defeated Heinrich and in 978 again resubdued Bohemia to his power by sending his army into it. In 979 Otto II sent an army to Poland. But the invasion failed due to weather conditions and a new peace treaty was concluded between the powers. Soon Prince Meshko's bohemian wife died and he married Oda, daughter of Dietrich of Goldensleben, Margrave of the Northern Marches. Because of this, Meshko gained a strong ally in the empire and also rose sharply in the eyes of the German aristocracy and was able to enter the nearest imperial circle. But tensions in Polish-German relations persisted until the 980s. The empire was in crisis because of the unsuccessful war in the south, Otten II died of a fever, and a group of Baltic Slavs subordinate to the new emperor Otto III, formerly under Otto II, began a revolt in 986. Also, once again Heinrich II, Duke of Bavaria, claimed the throne with the support of Bolslaus II, these events forced the Duke to make a rapprochement with the Empire and Otto III again, and to conclude an alliance with Sweden, giving his daughter Svendislava to King Eric the Victorious. The alliance with Sweden allowed Poland to defend itself against a Danish invasion of the Polish coast. Soon Danish attempts to gain a foothold on the Polish coast were repulsed by a combined Slavic-Swedish army, and the rebellion of the Baltic Slavs was suppressed by the German-Polish army. In 990 Otto and Meshko's joint war against Bohemia began, which resulted in Silesia and Lesser Poland being annexed to the Polish state. These lands were given to Meshko's eldest son, Bolslaw I. Thus, by the end of the reign of Meshko, the Polish duchy included almost all modern Polish lands and became a major state in Central Europe, playing an important role in European political life. In the last years of his life Meshko remained faithful to the alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. In 991 he arrived at a meeting in Quedlinburg, where he participated in the customary exchange of gifts with Otto III and his mother Empress Theophanu, giving the Emperor a camel. In the same year he also took part in a joint journey with the young Emperor to Brandenburg. Meshko died on May 25, 992, in old age, overcoming a fever and was buried in the cathedral of Poznan. Before his death he divided his state into several princes. They were probably his sons, Bolslaw the Brave, Meshko, and Lambert. But who was the main heir is not known for sure. A mysterious text, De Golmiudex, is usually associated with the name of Meshko I. The document shows the borders of the Polish state at that time, including the border with Rus. And it also says that shortly before his death Meshko declared Poland to be the possession of the Pope. It also mentions Meshko's second wife, Oda, and his sons from his second marriage, but not his eldest son Bolslaw. Perhaps the Polish prince was trying to secure the country from a Bohemian invasion or wanted to prevent his eldest son from coming to power. 
Other versions say that perhaps he simply wanted to create an independent church metropolis within the framework of the Roman Patriarchate. But too much time has passed since then and the whole point is not fully known. Give me a like if you liked this tour to Polish history. I will continue to make videos about Poland, as well as other countries and periods of the past. Thank you for watching.